Okay, let's go ahead and measure some basic valve guide clearance on our cylinder heads today. In order to do this, you're going to need your cylinder head. You're going to need your valves. I've selected, selected the exhaust valve for, the, for this example. We're going to need a 0 to 1 inch micrometer. And we're going to need a small hole gauge. In the case of our engines, due to the size of the valve stems and the valve guides in our engine, we're going to need a size B, okay, or the second smallest one in a set of four. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to measure the inside diameter of the valve guide. Obviously, it's an inside diameter, and my micrometers measure outside diameters, so I can't measure it directly. There's other tools that we can use for this, but a fairly easy and inexpensive solution to that is the ball gauge or small hole gauge. It's a split ball. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you. And then what happens is it's got a cone, and as I turn the thumb knob on the end here, it draws the cone into the in between the two halves and splits it apart, causing it to get larger in diameter. We're going to use it very much like a feeler gauge here and I'm going to take my ball gauge I'm going to slide it into the valve guide and I'm going to slowly move it up and down while I slowly tighten it feeling for when it starts dragging on the inside surface of the exhaust guide and what I'm feeling for is a little bit of resistance and possibly a little bit of texture. You can kind of feel it start to kind of catch some of the high spots in the guide as you find the slight resistance and a little bit of drag. It does take a little bit of practice to get this. If you let go and it falls all the way down, it wasn't tight enough. And if you let go and it doesn't move, you probably have it too tight. So you want to make sure you have just a little bit of drag. You can kind of feel it's kind of like scuffing the surface just a little bit. We're not trying to put marks in the guide though. Okay, I think I've got it there. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to pull that out. And you'll see here that it's wedged the two halves open and so what I'm going to do now is take my 0 to 1 inch mic and I'm going to measure across the widest portion of the ball gauge here at the end. So I'll take my mic, put that in there, very carefully close that up onto the ball gauge, making sure not to squish the ball gauge with my micrometer. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my reading in this case, it's 215. I'm going to say 215.5 from the view of the camera here. So it would be 2,155 ten thousandths of an inch. I will go ahead and where it says valve guide diameter for the exhaust, go ahead and write that down. In the case of our engines, the difference in diameter from the guide to the stem, or what's known as our valve guide clearance, on many of the engines can be right around or just under one thousandths of an inch. So it's imperative that you measure to the nearest ten thousandths of an inch. Otherwise, you might find that your guide and valve stem are exactly the same diameter to the nearest thousandths, which can't be since one fits into the other. Okay, so now that I got my guide diameter measured, now I need to measure the stem on my exhaust valve. Got a little bit of oil on it yet, so I'm gonna take a rag, and wipe that off so that the oil film doesn't interfere with my measurements. And when I measure this, I don't wanna measure down here by the head of the valve because that, that's in the port and it doesn't actually go into the guide. And I don't need to measure near the end of the valve stem tip because this part of the valve stem doesn't actually go in the guide either. I want to measure the part of the valve stem that's actually in the guide traveling up and down. And so 
It's a pretty small, short valve, so we're going to go ahead and just take a measurement right in the middle here. On larger or longer valve stems, you might need to take multiple measurements along its length to determine its diameter and overall form. But for our purposes here, we're going to do one right in the middle. Okay. I'm going to hold both parts. I'm going to just gently close that up on there. I don't need to crank it down. Remember that. And then we'll take our reading. If we can get it to focus. And look at that. We're just shy of 215. So we're, we'll call that 214. And we'll bring this around. 214.9. Okay. We'll write that down for our exhaust stem diameter. 0.2149 inches, 2,149 inches. Now, in order to actually calculate my clearance, I have to take 2,155 minus 2,149. And when I do that, my clearance is going to be Six ten thousandths of an inch, which is a little bit on the tight side for this engine. Uh, most of the engines are a little bit closer to one thousandths or so. Some of them I've seen up to two thousandths. Anyways, that's the process that we're going to be using to measure our valve guide clearance. The same process would be used on the intake. Once you've got your measurements, we need to do a little bit of math to figure out what the actual clearance or space between the parts is because that's how much room there is for oil to get in between those two parts and lubricate them. We'll compare them to what our specifications should be and then when you come for your checkpoint don't forget to to have this answered as to whether your clearances are okay or not. We will talk about what to do if your clearances are not okay in another video. Any questions, come find me in the lab, and thanks for watching.